Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. Just kidding. It's Wednesday, but we're going to be looking at some Thursday flipping investments. You guys might be able to sink your coins into tonight, later today in FIFA Ultimate Team, possibly to make some coins after rewards on Thursday of this week. We're going to talk about the sell time and maybe about a possible promo that could come on Friday, which could create a loading screen on Thursday. Possibly even today, there have been loading screens on Wednesdays that have popped in the past. Just kind of EA drops something when we're just literally not expecting it at all. So that could come today. I mean, obviously, Wednesday, Thursdays, we're always having the chance for a loading screen when there is a promo that could be coming in the near future. And that promo on Friday could be team of the group stage. But let's say no loading screen comes out today, at least. I do think there's going to be some things that we can buy and sell in that window after rewards. Um, we're going to probably looking at a sell time again of sometime before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. Um, but hopefully the market can do well this week. We do know right now that this market has a lot of coins. That is no secret. This market has a lot of coins and people are buying players with those coins because today, only today alone, we have seen player prices go up on informs, out of pack specials, and even some gold cards. They have gone up uh, a really, really high amount because we literally got no content today. I mean, a lot of people have coins, so they went out and did SBCs. SBC fodder rose today. Um, those best of cards went out of packs. Those rose, you can tell people are buying those. A lot of people invested in those. We'll talk about the implications of that this week as well. And uh, yeah, so I wanna talk about a few things. We first always, though, take a look at the Team of the Week predictions. Of course, you might be watching this video. Team of the Week could already be released. Um, but these are kind of the highlights that I think could get in this week. This is from Patrick, the same guy that we look at his predictions every week. Simple Blue on Twitter. Uh, Van Dyke is the big name this week. Van Dyke should get in uh, for his performance last weekend uh, for Liverpool. So I do think that card's going to get in. Deli Ali should get in as well. He had a great game for Spurs. Um, and we're going to talk about how Panic could be a very good place to pick up some weekend league flips this week. He's got Cresswell in there. He's got Carvajal, Hall, which would be a very welcome site for people looking for a right back to get their players on full 10 chem um, for some of those uh, La Liga teams, especially if you got maybe an Usman on the right side. Uh, you need a link to him and to your, your PK maybe, or just a, lot, a Spanish right back is needed. Uh, obviously, Carvajal Hall is not the best card ever, but it's okay. But other than that, the team of the week man just looks really average and looks doesn't look very promising. Um, I would say that there is a possibility that maybe maybe they drop in some bigger name guys. I know Abamyang had two goals. I would not expect for him to get in, but it, I mean, if they put somebody like an Abamyang in, or if they put uh, if they throw some guys in the team of the week, that makes you think like, why is this guy in team of the week? Like, this is kind of sketchy. Um, he didn't really do that well. Like he didn't have a great performance. Why is he getting into team of the week? That would raise a red flag in my eyes uh, because that could mean that um, there's something good coming on the weekend because as we talk about a lot of times uh, in these videos, if a good team of the week comes out, if it seems to be boosted, that usually means there's some other sort of promo coming that weekend. If they were really stretching to put some players in team of the week, like sometimes we've had players that get in team of the week for an assist. Like I think Pogba got into team of the week one time last year or two years ago for an assist. And we knew like, all right, something is coming this weekend. So that's something to always watch for um, when the team of the week comes out. But of course, we're always looking to link investments. A lot of the stuff that's linked into VVD is up a lot already. Robertson Inform, Robertson Gold Card. I mean, Fabinho Gold Card. I mean, tons of stuff has already been invested in for links to VVD. Robertson is like 250? Nah, fam, 260? Yo, 259K for this card is crazy. He was like 200K. He was under 200K before Black Friday. And even when um, Van Dyke scored that goal, I think he was already coming back down from 220 to like 200. And then he shot back up this week. If pe people have invested a ton of coins into these Liverpool links, if that's you, I would, I would contemplate taking the money early because there's going to be a lot of panic selling on these cards, I think. Imagine if VVD doesn't get in a team of the week. Imagine the panic on these cards. I do think he'll get in though. So, uh, but just imagine that if there's no VVD in this team of the week, you're going to have some of these cards drop a ton and that's going to be a massive, massive buy opportunity because the next thing I'm going to talk about is what is low in this market right now? And the answer really is nothing. There is nothing that is like low, that is cheap, that looks like a, you know, what we would call a good buy area or something that we could get into. 
in terms of special cards and on gold cards and in icons, man, because everything this week has just gone up and up from the coin injection on Black Friday and uh, Super Sunday. And then today, this is the market today, 109 points on index special up to 114. No content. What are people going to do? Go buy players, go try players out and do SBC. So that's why you saw a lot of these rise up in price today. This is going to be a place on this top down on the index special. I spend a lot of time here, especially on Wednesday nights, looking for deals on the market and scrolling through the team of the week squads and looking through like other special cards and other informs. Just kind of, I know their prices and I know that they get low. You don't actually have to know their prices if you don't really want to memorize them. It helps. Um, but you can look through here and say, okay, Griezmann's 412, Ducroy's 69. That's really high right now. Nangolan's at 82. That's high. Um, Hummel's 55. That's high. And basically what you can do is you can look through some of these teams. And if tomorrow night on Wednesday, you see a little bit of panic selling, that could be a potential big buy time opportunity. Uh, that could be a big buy time opportunity with a lot of potential. If you see some panic selling on some of these cards, that's, that's going to be my game plan. My main game plan is to look for some panic selling on that. And to be honest this week, I think you can even Thursday flip with gold. I think that the meta gold cards, very popular cards, even some of the ones on a higher budget are going to be very flippable this week. So if you look for some guys in here, are there any examples of guys I might try to flip? Pogba, Pogba doesn't have the hype this year, man. Uh, he is a very good card, but he just doesn't move. He doesn't have a ton of hype. Maybe on this side, we'll have some stuff. Maybe a Bale, maybe a Usman, maybe a, an Insignia could be a good weekend league flip. An Allen gold card, possibly. Um, but you're kind of looking for maybe a guy like Sterling or maybe a guy, maybe a gold Mane, maybe a gold Robertson, maybe somebody in that gold range that's maybe like a... 50 to 300k is like a perfect range this week a lot of people can afford a card like that especially after all the coins that were put onto the market this week so that's where i would say is to look look in kind of that range of stuff as we do get uh into more of the day on on wednesday a couple hours before rewards there are people that sell out their teams and there's a lot of people that bought teams this week so you might have people if a couple guys sneak into team of the week that are pretty good you might have some people sell out their teams before weekend league, before their rewards, and uh, especially in the center back area. Maybe you see a guy, if, if VVD gets in team of the week to, this week, maybe you see a guy like Oda Mendy go down, but also he might have the possibility of going back up in price too, because you know if you're gonna link a center back to VVD, it's probably gonna be this guy. He's like the second best, center, second best center back in the Prem right now in this game. 80 pace, 85 defending, 80 physical. We need some center back Premier League informs. I'm looking at you, Dawinson Sanchez. Please, my dude, get some upgrades. <laughs> that would be sick um, if we had a card like that. So whatever that may be, though, um, keep an eye out on those special cards for some panic selling in the evening. I want to talk about other panic selling. I kind of already mentioned it with like the links to team of the week. Um, first of all, I think links to team leak are going to fly this week. Like, uh, let's say we've already seen the, the links to VVD rise, but if there is a usable player that gets into team of the week, like even a Deli Ali, um, there's two sides to this coin with Deli Ali, um, who already has the scream card, about 240,000 coins. The inform is not going to be as good as the scream. So right now the scream sits at 240, 250, very rare card as all these scream cards are. He got a plus 10 defense and a plus 10 physical boost from his gold card on this screen version. So uh, the, the 86 inform Deli Ali might have similar stats in terms of like pace, shot, passing, and dribbling, but the defense and physical will not be as good on his inform. You might see some panic selling around on this card, and if he just gets too low, that's going to be a great opportunity to pick up uh, stuff for Thursday flips. That goes for anything. If we have an SBC that comes out at 6 p.m. UK, um, and if there's some panic selling because of it, Definitely get on and look at some of that panic selling because panic selling in a high market like we have right now creates a fantastic opportunity to make some profit. I made a lot of coins last year on panic selling on Wednesdays or Tuesdays, a couple days before Thursday, where I would look for panic selling in a market that was going up and I would buy Thursday flips of the stuff that got panic sold. Uh, that happened often with like Felipe Anderson last year, got multiple informs. I would end up buying the lower rated version of his inform after it had got panic sold from being announced and being entered into team of the week because that first day of team of the week and when people go out and they and they they pack cards or they want to get that felipe anderson in their team they want to get the new inform right but that new inform comes on the market super duper expensive 
and everybody goes back and buys the old inform. And it also just bring, brings hype to that player getting an inform like, oh shoot, this guy's not too bad. Let me, let me try to get him in my team. So that that's a great way to pick up on some panic selling and pick up on some deals on cards. Um, let's say like this Theo Hernandez gets in team of the week and he gets a 84 rated inform and that 84 rated inform is probably somewhere like maybe 70, 80,000 coins. You, you might see this, this 81 inform like panic sold down to 30 K that could be a pickup opportunity. Just make sure that there's a big gap between the new inform and the old inform. Cause if they're really tight, really close in price, there's not much room for a rise right there before people will just go ahead and buy that other new inform. So that's kind of a requirement for that, but that's something you could look out for today. And of course I mentioned, if we do get some sort of player SBC, if we get another um, flashback or player moments card, uh, you could definitely see a little bit of uh, maybe some panic selling around that too. Like maybe if we get a, another center back from the prem, if they release a center back from the prem SBC could cause a little bit of panic selling uh, as well in like a, in an area like Odomendi or something like that. So watch for some panic on that. Of course, there's going to be link investments to probably some team elite cards. When the team elite comes out, the shoot up right away. If you're about that, go for it. If you're not stay away, but you should, should see some stuff happen like that. And again, gold cards that I mentioned this week, um, one place again, that you can look for flips this week is going on that players tab, clicking the popular players, um, button on here and just looking at some of the most popular players in this game. Griezmann at 152. I bought this guy for 140 something. He literally didn't move this entire weekend. He's up about 10K from where he was at his lowest point. Yesterday he was 140s. He rose up to like 160. Right now it says 152, which is actually not a bad price. But this is still one of the most desired cards in the game. And I think people just like sold him out of their teams this last weekend. But this is a guy you just can't sleep on any week during Thursday flipping. These high rated meta golds, people have coins and people are buying teams again with these cards. Uh, so maybe this guy under 150K is a good shout. He could easily go to like 175 this weekend. And that would be a really, really solid Thursday flip investment that you could sink your coins into. But again, the popular players tab on Flipin, you look at some of these guys and you see them, uh, who, who are the most searched guys in, in Ultimate Team. Conte 360, Mane 327. That's still not that high. I still think he has room to go, um, especially as his inform continues to creep up in price. Fabinho possibly. Uh, maybe a guy like um, who else? Who else on here? Maybe Lucas. Lucas has held his price, 9,000 coins. Uh, even through the the Black Friday promo, he was 7k. He's already up 2,000 coins. You might see him like over 10k. You know, stuff like that. The OP, the meta stuff that people are using in their teams, maybe golds like a Varane, maybe a Leng Lei, maybe an Umtiti, um, stuff like that. Keep your eyes out for that. Ter Stegen as well. Um, just again, Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker's inform is very, very expensive. So that means probably a lot of people are going to be looking at that uh, 84 rated right back card. Is he like what, 50K ish? Uh, just under 50K, 47,000. So that was a perfect search right there. Um, that could be a card that rises this week as people continue to build their teams. Now I want to talk about overall market stuff. I kind of talked about who you could buy. Icon's probably a, a decent flip as well if it's a meta card for sure. But I want to talk about some of the effects of a lot of people investing in best of team of the week. So many people invested in these cards, man. Like so many people. This Ben Yedder card was 180k. 180k when the team of the week SBC came out, there was a lot of panic. And this man went low. He went low, low. And a, people, a lot of people invested in these cards. And uh, I was a little bit um, skeptical of this. First of all, just because of how much supply this guy and those best of Team of the Week cards have. But the demand for the cards and the amount of coins on the market are right now beating that supply. Because these guys have gone up. Look, he's, he was 180, man. He's gone up 50,000 coins. Some of that is investing. Some of that's the link to Fabregas SBC. It's made him go up. But there's a lot of people that have invested in best of team of the week. Dybala, Nine Golan, even Inform Mane, Inform KDB, Inform Mertens. A, a lot of dudes like that I would be very, very careful with. And I would honestly consider selling into the hype. Yes, you heard me correctly. Selling into the hype. Selling before rewards. Because a lot of people are going to be selling these cards after rewards. There still might be some demand for them. But I think their prices are going to stay pretty level. Maybe go up a little bit because there's going to be so many people trying to sell these cards at rewards. But also that's a good thing for us. 
And here's why. Those people that have invested in those cards, they probably have a lot of money tied up in their benetters, in their monies and stuff like that. They won't be investing for weekend league rewards or as much because they have all their coins tied up in these other informs already. And when they sell those informs, they probably have teams to go build themselves. So they're going to sell those informs, take their money on them or take a loss, whatever it is, and then go build their teams, right? And they're going to be buying the players that we invested in for rewards that are going up in price already. So if you're one of those guys that invested in best of team of the week, I might just take your coins beforehand. And I think there's a lot of people that invested in these cards. Judging by how much their their card prices went up, Dybala was like 110. And I think he's now like 140, 50, 150 or something like that. Let me figure this out for you. Let me figure this out for you. He's not 240K. Yeah, so there's a lot of them here at like 150, that 89 Dybala. So, okay, 150. That's exact, exactly where he is. 155, 153. All right, 150. Just over 150 for this card. He was 110K. He's up like 40,000. So that means a lot of people haven't invested in him. Uh, in my opinion, that's how I feel about it. Yes, it's just a usable card, so it's gone up a little bit, but I feel like there's a lot of over-investing with these as well. This kind of feels similar to me and how the Scream promo felt. So many people invested in Screams, and they went up, but you were better off selling into the hype um, than if you would have waited and if you would have sold actually um, uh, after Weekend League Rewards. So I would recommend that maybe you look in, maybe you decide to sell on the hype for some of those investments uh, so that you can then invest for Thursday flipping. Because I really think that's a thing, man. I really think that a lot of people that are gonna that bought these best of team of the week cards still have some part of their weekend league team to buy, and that's gonna cause some of the market to go up, um, to go up a little bit on um, on Thursday after rewards. So those people that invested for Thursday trying to sell after might not make that much money because of everybody selling at the same time, and then they have to go out and buy their their teams still as well. So. That's a situation that I would look into and I think I could see happening this week. Again, it's hard to find deals on this high market. It really is kind of hard to find some deals on this market the way that it is right now because everything just keeps trending up. My advice again is just wait and see what EA drops today in terms of SBCs. Look, try to find some gold cards that haven't really risen up that much, kind of like a guy like Griezmann, like this, this Mane isn't up too much and look across the market for informs that could be panic sold in the couple hours before rewards as well. And of course, the content that comes today at 6 p.m. UK could create some market movements that we can look out for and that we can make some coins off of as well with panic selling and stuff like that. Remember, if you're buying panic selling cards or panic sold cards or link investments, make sure you remember that it's you want to invest to the OP cards, invest to the links to the OP. Think about what people are using right now. They're using uh, French center backs. They're using La Liga center backs. They're using Premier League links, French links, Brazilian links. Those are all the best types of players to go and to look and to invest in. So focus on those few nationalities and focus on those few leagues. Uh, if, just think about the teams that you see and you play against in weekend league. All the people that have Ter Stegen, Varane, Langley, Scream PK, uh, Inform Semedo. How are they getting links to these cards? and stuff like that. So that's what I have to say about Thursday flipping this week. Sell time again. I think you try to get it out before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. Just to be safe. We like to be safe. Um, if you think that we're not going to get a promo this weekend, I think it's like a, maybe a 60-40 shot. 60% that we do, 40% that we don't. Um, maybe you consider holding later. Uh, maybe with an icon especially, a card that's a lot more rare on the market, you could be you could you could be okay to to hold that card a little bit longer and maybe take more of a risk on it because it's just that super rare of a card. So that's how I feel about Thursday flipping this week. I'm going to be going all in on it as per just because this market has so many coins and uh, I want to be a part of everybody buying their teams post weekend league rewards this week. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.